I rise in opposition to this amendment. Due to the time certain and the late arrival of the amendment, 49 pages long, I didn't have adequate time to really dig into it, but at my first glance, it still doesn't tell me what really happens with those birth to five services. Services that so many families rely on when something just doesn't seem right in their child's development and they need professionals such as those that work for the early access to come in and help guide them. My family was one of these families. Services that so many child care programs rely on, not just for the early access, but programs like CART, the Child Care Alliance response team who comes in and works with child care professionals when they have a child who just can't quite figure out when it comes to behaviors. Um, CART can come in and offer them supports and give them ways to work with that child so that young child's not at risk of being suspended or expelled from that child care program. That would be devastating for not only the child, but puts the family in a stressful situation of having to find a new child care program while our state's in a child care desert. Just want to remind everyone again that the AEAs provide so many services, services in schools beyond special education and services that touch children that are not even in school yet. Services that even if not directly mentioned in this amendment can end up being affected by what is going on in this bill. As a parent who's had to use these services with my own children and as an educator who's used them with my students, it really concerns me and I think there's going to be some unintended consequences. Please vote to keep our AAs intact as they are. Let's have that task force. Let's wait for the report and then work on things, not beforehand. Please vote no.